there, pink ladies. It's your girl, Pinky. And how are all you beautiful ladies doing? Now, ladies, I don't know how these videos are coming to you because um, I still have not yet started recording and vlogging from my beautiful camera that was sent to me by one of my beautiful pink ladies here on the YT. Um, I love you. You know who you are. Thanks again. However, I do want to come have a small little chit chat with you ladies. Um, in my last video, I told you ladies, I wanted to um, be honest and talk to you about some things that have been going on in your girl Pinky's life. So let's chop it up. Let's talk. But remember, respect my gangster. Don't come at me with no BS unless it's about what? Let me hear you them bags and them shoes because that's the only bs i deal with in my life um and um when i come to you ladies asking you these things and asking for your opinion it's because i truly avow i truly excuse me value and appreciate um the advice that you ladies give <coughs> now ladies i have um have been or had been m.i.a for quite some time because you know I was trying to you know find out about you know job things I'm still you know on the hunt trying to get that together um, some financial issues that um, I'm having I'm sure you know there are a few others having um, as most of you may or may not know um, there were some things going on financially wise with um, Allie Poo, um, her senior year at Tuskegee. So she didn't get to go back um, this semester of all semesters, her final, you know, senior year there. So she's been home. She can't go back until January of 2016. But thank God for that. That's all been a blessing. It has worked out. Um, she's been here. She's come across some beautiful people that have been a blessing to her. That's been really helpful. Um, she's been inspired and met the rapper yo yo i posted pictures and things like that on instagram for those of you that are following me um and then there have been some you know health issues going on with me as well um and like i said we're just having open honest talk right now and i do value and respect you ladies to the fullest so um there's going to be two things I'm going to request of you ladies during this video, and um, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> so, the first thing I'm going to talk about is just a few health concerns, and the health concerns is pertaining to myself um, as far as I was having a few issues um, with, you know, chest pains and... Um, con um, uh, just, just a lot of things that was going on with me and um, I couldn't figure out why like after I had maybe some buffalo wings or something spicy or just something small even some hot flaming hot Cheetos Fritos or whatever it is you know things that I like because I like spicy food as to why I wasn't able to you know, enjoy those things and then lay down hours later um, and it would affect me in some type of way. So come to find out the more research that was done on it and the more questions that was asked, um, it found out that I have acid reflex. So I'm not allowed to have um, as much a spicy food as I normally would have or I can't eat it after a certain point and lay down. Ladies, that is the worst feeling ever. I mean, so far besides me breaking a leg and, and losing a loved one, I can't compare the two. It's totally different. But, you know, one night I had some um, and I don't even think it was at nighttime. It was midday. I had some spicy um, Cheetos hot fries. And um, I laid down like later on that night. It was after 12, 1, 2 o'clock that next morning. And I was trying to sleep and I couldn't breathe. And um, 
everything just started blurring out on me. My vision, I was um, trying to gasp for air. It felt like a hole or something was just burning in my chest, pulling my skin apart. And I was trying to scream out for my daughter, anybody to help me, nothing would come out. And it was just a horrible feeling. So... <laughs> that's basically been going on with me now um the first part of this video my question to you ladies because i genuinely care about you ladies so much and i know a lot of you genuinely care about me as well i need for you to comment down below if a lot of you or a few of you or you know someone that has experienced this acid reflex um thing um, that's going on with a lot of people comment down below and let me know what it is that you're taking as far as medication some suggestions you know a lot of people were telling you go to Tums and get I'm um, excuse me go to CVS and grab you know the Tums and that sort of thing and I had grabbed the Tums all sorts of flavor I would have something spicy and then two hours later I would eat those before I lay down to but that wasn't working and then someone recommended to me to try these ultra strength antacid new soft chew rollades and they look like this if any of you ladies have tried these or know someone that have tried these or would recommend these for someone who has acid reflex you know just to have throughout the day um because i don't want to deprive myself of not being able to have a buffalo wing or two because i love buffalo wings um sometimes i want to have not all the time i don't you know crave it but a lot of the times i do want to have spicy food and i just don't want to have that feeling or effect on me every time i eat something so um i would just like for you ladies or appreciate it if you ladies would comment down below and let me you know know some of your solutions or your thoughts on you know how individuals or myself should handle you know as uh, acid reflex of course you can google it look it up and that sort of thing and read upon it and you can truly go to a physician and find out but you know there's nothing or no harm um in asking individuals who you know care about you i've talked to other ladies here i've talked to family members and i've just gotten different views and opinions and come to find out i have some other friends and family members that are going through the same thing that have gave me other recommendations and ideas and you know to go see certain physicians and doctors and so forth so that's the first part of this um conversation that i want to have with you ladies the second part of this conversation that I want to have with you ladies, because we can be open and honest with one another. This is Sisterhood Chat. This is um, um, some pink lady time, our one-on-one -on -one time. And um, I want to start off by saying thank you ladies for being so supportive, so honest, so respectful, so genuine, so loving, outgoing. Um, you ladies are just beautiful. There are over, um, if I'm not mistaken, 800 of us now. But here's the thing that has been weighing on your girl Pinky's heart heavy. Now, I'm not going to call out certain individuals' names, which I could do. I could call them out, but I'm um, not in a bad way. But I don't. Also, I also don't want to come off as showing, you know, favoritism or having someone say something um demeaning towards the relationship that myself and those other ladies have you know come to have to where our bond is extremely close but i would like for the ladies that say they are truly genuinely pink ladies to comment down below comment down below and say i am truly a pink lady um because i'm like there are over like i say 800 of us or close to 800 of us and um i've noticed you know some shade being thrown when i see certain people on instagram when i see certain people commented on my yt channel and then i can go watch another pink ladies yt channel and hear them say something and I'm, I'm just like wait something's just not right now the thing with your girl pinky i don't have two faces um meaning um 
if I have something to say to that individual, I will say it to you. I will present it to you. I still know how to talk to you respectfully without there being any confrontation. A lot of people are very confrontational, but I don't have time for that. Tomorrow is not promised to me, so I try to live my life to the fullest. Um, and uh, like I say, I, I, I just don't have time for, for the shadiness, for the, the phony individuals. Um, we come on here to, you know, meet and greet, to share our thoughts and ideas, to just have fun. And, um, you know, a lot of relationships have grown and bond, bonds have formed because of the things that go on here in the sisterhood. And a lot of you ladies have honestly told me that, and that made me feel good. That's the gift that keeps on giving when, you know, you introduce another person. Some of you ladies have been in the sisterhood and find out that you stayed in the same city and state and have linked up and hooked up and hung out and everything before I've even gotten to meet you. And that just makes me happy. And, you know, that's a relationship that I hear or relationships that I hear are starting to grow. What's bothering me is that the fact that when I do my romper rooms and I sing and I laugh and I dance and I say your name in the mirror and I call you out and I tell you welcome to the family and, and this sort of thing and you know I try to subscribe to everyone. I try to be as loyal and as genuine and supportive of, as I can for everyone. Um, and leave comments but i don't know there there has been some things that i've noticed and that has been brought to my attention to where you know some of the pink ladies that call them safe call themselves pink ladies have been a little shady and you know i'm not going to be on here and be like oh such and such is shady this and that no i know how to have a personal one-on-one -on -one time or conversation with that woman, woman to woman, and say, okay, well, you know, I, I feel this way. Um, If it's going to be that way, then maybe we should do this, but we can still be cordial. I mean, that's how you handle things. I don't have to get on here and be like, well, such and such, and blah, blah, blah. that's just, you know, being real silly and petty, and, you know, I don't have time for that. So I would like for you to comment down below and say, you know what, I'm a pink lady. I'm a genuine pink lady, um, and let's get it rolling because I've been talking to the pink ladies here, and um, some of the things that I see here on social media are things that I hear people say or how they react. It's just things that pink ladies don't do. Um, yes, I started the Pink Ladies Club here, um, but myself and a few other ladies, and you know, I don't know if you ladies really truly understand the definition of a pink lady and the sisterhood. A sisterhood and being a pink lady is some place where you can go and talk to different women about different issues and not be judged, not be bullied, not look downed upon. Um, and, and you don't have to lie. You wouldn't steal from that person. You're not trying to hurt that person. You'll pray for that person. You want to be supportive. You'll do whatever you can, if you can, to make sure that, you know, your sister, your friend is okay. And, um... That, that, that's what, uh... That's why I started this sisterhood. Um... And my favorite color is pink, so that's how it came about. A lot of people think I got it from Greece and this and that. And I'm like, no, it just started with a group of friends, myself, maybe like four or five of us. And um, then I threw in my favorite color, and they was like, we'll give you that because you came up with the idea. And then it just expanded from there. But then I brought it to social media. So me being a pink lady is just me not I, I don't have time to be judging anyone i'm not god you know the best thing i can do for you as a genuine friend is pray for you i can call and check on you and see how you're doing now another thing is there's a lot of pink ladies that i call to check on and say how you doing is everything okay do you need to talk about everything how's family how's work okay i'm just calling to check on you and so forth and if i don't verbally get to talk to you i'll leave you a message um I've had people um, contact me or text me and be like, why haven't I heard from you? Where have you been? Why haven't? And I'm thinking like, whoa, 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 whoa. We need to rewind, take that back because I called you. I called and checked on you. I called to ask how you were doing. But 
um, the favor wasn't returned, you know, with my health issues and things going on with my family, you know, I could have been like, okay, well, excuse you, you didn't call me either, but I don't do that. Oh, you didn't call me or I don't have time to play that game. Well, now I do things because I genuinely care, not saying that others don't, but that's just your girl pinky. And that's why I say to be in the sisterhood you don't always have to, you know, be giving someone something or this and that. Just to know that somebody can come and watch a channel where there's no drama. Y'all can laugh and talk and have fun as women. Get your wine and still, you know, be here and just conversing like I'm doing. Like y'all sitting right here talking to me. I'm on my couch and you probably watching as you cooking, doing whatever. But it's like, okay, you know what? I can respect that. And that's just something I want to be a part of. So it, it's going to... I'm I'm reevaluating all of this and I want to see how many people are genuinely truly pink ladies that say they are pink ladies. Um like I say I've been in financial buying, but don't think things don't go unnoticed once I get myself together. There are some pink lady t-shirts that I have. There are shirts that's going out. I still have some um, pinky um, prize mail that's going out for individuals. Don't think that it doesn't go unnoticed or that I forgot. My word is my bond. That's all I have. So those that have done some for me, um, and they say, oh, don't worry about it. You know, when God blesses me and I get myself together, I got those um, individuals that I'm thinking about. You know, sometimes I can just send you a card and say, you know what, I just want to say thank you, thinking of you. And I try to get that out. I have my ways of showing my gratitude as well. Sometimes I can't send you a card, so I will verbally call so you can hear me say, you know what, thank you for all you have done. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you for being a friend, someone loyal, someone respectful, just being a grown woman and you know you can't ask for anything more um so that's that's really what i wanted to talk to you ladies about i don't like um messiness i don't like people that's being mean and hateful and looking down upon somebody else or judging them you know talking about their background or uh, what's going on in their household and their kids that's none of your business if you're not there to be a true friend and pray for someone or you know try to help lift them up when they're feeling down and 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 I, I don't know, it just bothers me, it irks me, it gets under my skin to just know that there are women out there that still have two faces and that can be just scandalous and really not give like two shits about how you, you, you know, how you're feeling and what's going on in your livelihood in order for you to survive and take care of you and your family. And um, I don't know, ladies, I just... That was on my heart. I wanted to discuss that with you. Um, like I say, health issues, finances, some other things have been going on with me. So I had to take two steps back. YouTube was tripping, unsubscribing people. And then, like I say, I was seeing a lot of people being messy. I don't deal with mess. I just want to have fun, live life, smile, um, and, and enjoy myself. Tomorrow is not promised to me, you, and I'm not even going to see tomorrow. I can, you know, end this video now and my breath is taken away from me, Lord forbid. But, you know, that's something like, just have fun. Smile, ladies. Live life. Enjoy. You know, be good to one another. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with a kind heart. There's nothing wrong with praying and being a blessing. And, you know... Us being in this sisterhood, when I see who says, you know what, I am genuinely a pink lady, that further lets me know, you know, okay, this person is truly here for what that relationship in the sisterhood and what a true pink lady stands for. So where are my true pink ladies at? Comment down below and let me know you're a true pink lady because, um... There's some other things that I got going on, and um, I really want to see who wants to be a part of that. Not discrediting anybody that has subscribed and that's a pink lady. I love all of you. I just want to know where all my true pink ladies at. Y'all feel me? Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, until our next pink ladies chit chat, or our next time we're going to converse and have some me and you time. I love you ladies. God bless. Let nobody steal your joy because they didn't give it. Do you Wear that beautiful smile and take care. Be kind to one another until we talk again. Kisses. And I'll see you later. Bye.